Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thank you for tuning in. Please let me know if you can hear my audio. Uh, hopefully you can. Give me some quick feedback. Let me know if you can hear my audio. Please let me know. Testing, testing. Coming in loud and clear. Excellent. I hope everybody is doing well today. What's going on, everybody? The past two weeks here, I haven't been able to get on. It's just been super crazy, and I hope you forgive me for that. But I am on, and, da -da 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 -da, and we're going to be giving away. Well, not giving away. I'm actually going to be buying somebody a lucky VIP on the call today. I'm going to be buying you a Atom X16 spray gun. That's right. You heard me. So how many VIPs are on the call right now? Please type in the chat VIP. And in about 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and get into the VIP question of the day. If you answer it correct on my end here, okay, you're going to, I'm actually going to buy you one of these things all you have to do to keep it fair is help me out with shipping. Is that fair? Help me out with $25 shipping and I am going to send you, this is a $200 value spray gun. Hopefully that's fair enough because if you don't want the gun, you let's do some Q&A now. Um, I actually emailed you guys. What's up, guys? So let's just do a quick shout out here. Uh, type in the chat very, very quickly where you're from. And where you're tuning in from, let's see if we can get some people from different parts of the world and I will do some shout outs. So it looks like we got a ton of VIPs, uh, Evan, Alex, uh, Ian, some, some screen names here I can't pronounce and read, Tommy, Gage, JL, uh, let's see, Nemo, Nemo, Mike, Paul, Dean, Tommy, Ian, AICS, Los Angeles, California, Chicago VIP, Indiana VIP, uh, Copper's Cove. I think my shades are a little dirty. <laughs> uh, Utah in the house, Maryland in the house, New York, New York, Texas, baby, Andy Brown, Tamworth, United Kingdom, Dallas, Hawaii VIP. What's going on, my brother? Evan. Evan from my hometown, Hawaii. Woo, 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 chee Gage, Mad Max, Las Vegas, Greeley, what does that say? Greeley, Colorado, South Carolina, Panoma, California in the house, Kentucky, Puerto Rico in the house, like, like, like. Yes, sir, chee Sorry, my voice cracked on that one. VIP. Anyway, guys, check this out, man. I even got my Aloha Grown hat, bros. Aloha Grown. And I got to show you my other hat here. I got to show you my other hat right over here. Maybe I'll just wear this one for now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, cuz? Aloha. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Let's do some Q&A really, really quickly here. Um, somebody... Now, now's the time, guys, to type in your Q&A. So somebody says, Dean said here, is 800 grit safe to remove oxidation from a base coat where the clear eliminated? I think that's what he's saying. Is 800 grit safe to remove oxidation from base coat? From base coat? Do you mean clear coat or base coat? Because base coat is unfinished. You have to put clear coat on it to finish the paint job. So I don't know if you're in the middle of a paint job and you got your base coat down and you have some doesn't look right. So yeah, you could use 800 grit to scuff it down and then rebase it and then put your clear on it. I'm not sure exactly what you mean there, buddy Dean. Um, maybe you're talking about single stage enamel, you know, single stage. If you're, if you want to basically cut the grime film off of a car, right. That you want to buff out. I would use more of a 1500 grit wet sand, 1500 to 2000 grit wet sand. Okay. You cut it down, then you can buff that. doesn't matter if it's a single stage paint or a base coat, clear coat paint job. 
<clears throat> hope you guys are getting that so far. So let's uh, let's do some Q and A quickly here. Hey Tony, I have a car that needs to be painted. Need some bodywork and primer. Can I spray one round of base and clear? Can I spray one round of base and clear the rest on the carpet sanded? Same color. Yes. So I mean, if you're going to be basing the car. Yeah, you could just basically base coat wherever you're doing the repairs. And I would also blend into adjacent panels. Make sure the rest of your car, the clear coat, if it's in good shape, you could wash it down with like 1500 grit or 1000 grit. And then do your base. And then if you have extra base, just kind of keep going around the car to blend it in really well. And then you could put two coats of base uh, clear coat on top of that. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, the next... Next question here. Hey, what's up, Kamal? Man, Kamal, VIP from St. Vincent Caribbean. Kamal has been with us since way back in the day, man. Since we started LABAP like in 2010. I remember Kamal. What's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, man. Hey, Tony, do you think it's better to break down and spend the money for a decent gun when you're a beginner or just practice with a cheap gun? Well, if you're just going to be practicing, Use a cheap gun, but if you want to get really good finishes, I would go with a gun that at least puts out some decent atomization. Because the cheap guns, sometimes the tips, the nozzles are not created. Um, you know, the holes in the nozzles are not really good, and you don't get a good fan pattern. You don't get good atomization, which is critical for laying on really good clear coat and paint. So if you can, I would actually get a medium grade. And these Atom spray guns are medium grade spray guns. Um, and you don't have to spend $1,000 or $900 and get a SADA or a WADA. You could, these, these go for around $350. They're really solid, high-quality spray guns. So I would check out the Atom X27, actually. 21, I don't like too much. I just don't like the X21s. Uh, the 27 super, super cool. Um, let's see. Um, from base coat, the clear peeled off from sitting in the sun for three years. So if you're, if you're going to be doing that, Dean Sullivan, I would basically sand the whole card down, feather it out and put some new base coat and new clear coat on the whole thing, because you don't want to put new clear coat on top of old clear coat with a feathered edge. You just don't want to do that. You want to put a fresh coat of base on everything then put two, three coats of clear coat. Two, fit, two heavy coats of clear coat is sufficient. Um, somebody says, can I spray a Atom X27 with a 1.4 primer? I would highly recommend getting a 1.8 or a 2.0 tip kit if to spray primer because the 1.4, it's you're not going to get the primer coming out like you really want it to because you want primer to lay on heavy, right? That's the point to lay your primer on heavy and cover. So, you know, you can reduce your primer down, okay, 20%, 15% maybe, and it'll come out of the 1.4, but you're gonna have to give it some extra coats to cover. But I really, you know, I say if you can get the, the tip kit, get a 2.0 so you have it and you can lay on your thick uh, primers with no problem. Um, any special preparations to paint aluminum dirt bike frames? Well. I would actually, Mad Max, I would make sure you sand it down with at least 800 and you can put an epoxy primer on top of that to get it to stick. All right. Then you can actually, you can put some base and paint right over the epoxy. Or if you want to go the extra step, you could put a 2K filler primer on top of that, sand it down with 400 and you'll be ready for paint. Hopefully that helps. Tony, how many quarts of base coat do I need to buy to paint a 2003 Accord Coupe? It depends. It's a complete color change. So you're going to be doing in the door jams, uh, the trunk, right, under the hood. I would think I would think to have more, it's always better to have more than not enough. So I would get I would get a gallon, man. Get a gallon of base coat, just maybe three quarts. I would go with three quarts of base coat. It'll give you a gallon and a half of sprayable material, all right? Um, and it again, it depends on how what type of color change. Are you going a dark silver over silver? 
you know, what's the color change? Are you painting yellow over red, right? It's going to kind of depend, you know, what type of coverage you're going to need. Uh, so I would say three to four quarts will be more than enough. I think a gallon is going to be more than enough. You might want to just get a gallon. Uh, so you might have an actual quart of mixed leftover or a little bit more, just in case you got to do a touch up in the future or you want some extra paint, you have it. <clears throat> when, when spraying, do you have to stop at the end of the panel or can I do continuous flow? What's the benefit from stopping at the end? Well, the benefit of stopping at a panel, you're not actually stopping at the panel. You're stopping the paint, but the air is still coming out. So you're kind of blending into your adjacent panel if you're spraying right. right. What's up, Kent? The only time you want to go all the way across a car is if you're doing candy coats, okay? Because candy, if you do that stop, if you're painting like this panel by panel, right, you are basically going to have a dark line of candy on every, every, at every cut, at the fender, the door, the quarter panel, no good. You want to go across the whole thing. Even when you're doing like heavy duty pearls or flakes, it's best to kind of turn up your air pressure, back out two, three inches a little bit more and go across the whole side of the car, the whole hood onto the fenders, right? All the way over. <clears throat> so that's that. Is this helpful, guys? Are you guys like it before spraying additional coats? Well, when you're coat, guys, you go around again if you're given it three coats, it's ready again. If you're asking, so this is a two-part question. You weren't specific enough. If you're asking, hey, I just painted my car. I got two heavy coats on it. I want to sand it down and flow coat it like a few weeks later. Well, you can, I would let the clear coat cure 1,000 grit. 800 is fine. Uh, make sure you don't cut through to the base. If you do saw or even metallics, but not, I'm saying if you don't have any pearl in your clear coat, okay? Time to cure, then you can. I've been using foam pads when buffing, thinking of changing to wool for the compound step. What would I have to look out for? I would get, if you're going to use a wool pad, I would definitely look into the yellow wool pad. It's a softer wool than the white. Um, and I actually like to do it just as you said, I use a wool pad for buffing with compound. Then I move to the foam pad for the glaze. And then I use a microfiber cloth for the wax, for the wax guys. Oh, speaking of wax, speaking of wax, we have some new spray wax that is incredible. I actually just got some of it. Maybe I'll show it to you later, um, but we're going to start actually carrying it and promoting it. And maybe even I'll buy you some wax. How's that sound? Um, it's a super, super cool wax. It has some crazy synthetic um, additives to it for super high gloss, um, you know, water repellent. It's, it's an amazing wax, spray wax um, that I want to share with you very soon as well. <clears throat> Mike, hi, Tony. I'm very impressed with your drive and your character. Very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. I have no guns, newbie. I need that many X16. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Guys, crank on the like button, man. What's going on? Okay, so what time is it now? All right, we're, we're on. Maybe we'll go another five minutes. Aloha, Woody. And we're going to be doing the X16 spray gun buying. I'll be buying this for you. So check this out in just a second. We're going to be doing some Q&A here. And, um, well, we're going to do one, one question, multiple choice. After my daughter answers all of the questions, whoever types in the correct answer and whatever shows up on my screen first, right? That is going to be the winner. Okay. So in about five minutes, we're going to be doing that. Maya is going to read, uh, the question and we're going to, I'm actually going to be buying a VIP member in here, a X 16 mini spray gun. This is a mini spray gun, guys. It's not a full size. It's mini, but they are awesome for doing door jams, motorcycles, helmets, that type of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. How do I mask inside of hard to reach areas like quarter panel to slider, to slider door gap on a minivan? <clears throat> well, you got to get creative, man. 
you got to see how you can get in there and just mask it up. The other thing you could do is use something called tube tape. It's a it's a tape that looks like like a piece of insulation. It's like a round round tube that you can pop in there and it'll it'll basically give you a round edge so when you paint it's not going to go inside and you'll have a good round edge around your door lines. So you might want to look that up tube tape. I have some in the box out in the shop, but I don't want to go running out there right now, but just keep that in mind. Um 1989 Olds Cutlass Supreme GM recalled and he never got his free factory paint job recommended <laughs> kamal what's up kamal said kamal pretty saint vincent vip what's up tony thanks a million man i own my own body shop to you thanks to you that is awesome man yeah kamal man became a vip guys back in like 2011 i would say and he literally went through the training program at learn auto body vip and opened up his own successful body shop out there in saint vincent amazing story this guy has uh super cool guy man i wish hey one day when i come out there i'm gonna visit your shop that's for sure <clears throat> Is a flat or satin clear more difficult to lay down smooth compared to gloss? No, it's the same thing. Same thing. You want to lay it on exactly like you're laying it on. All right. Initially, it's going to lay on glossy, but it's going to dry flat or satin, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Uh, so I wouldn't say it is, it is harder. Actually, that would be a good video. That would be a good next project video. I'm going to write that down, guys. I'm going to write that down. So guys, it is basically, you know, yesterday got super cold here in Texas where I am. Today's warming up a little. I would say by next weekend, man, we we're going to be rocking and rolling with doing some projects. Like I got a ton of things lined up for you VIP guys and for you YouTube guys in the shop here, like ready to start doing some body and custom painting. So that's going to be coming very, very soon. I mean, we got may june july those three months i plan to crank out tons of projects for you guys and, and get like i don't know how many maybe maybe over a hundred hours of footage so that's my plan 100 150 hours of footage like all kinds of stuff you guys are gonna get all that content so i'm actually excited we got a lot of new things coming on as well <clears throat> all right let's do the q a vips are you ready vips are you ready Okay, Maya, get the booklet. Oh, you got it right here. Okay, Maya's going to read it into the mic here. Now, listen, guys, if you're a VIP and you, you're going to be playing the game to win, just type in VIP on the bottom right now. Just type it in if you're a VIP and you're going to be playing just so we can see how many VIPs are competing right now. Uh, and I'm going to be buying you a brand new Atom X16. The only thing is that you're going to help me with about 25 bucks shipping and handling. All right. I will buy you the spray gun. Just help me with shipping. I'm sure that's fair uh, because you're not going to be buying a gun like this for 25 bucks. That's for sure. Okay. So we got a good handful of VIPs on right now. So here's the deal. Maya is going to read you a multiple choice question really quickly. Okay. Maya is going to read you the question A, B, C, or D. Whoever answers, so you answer when Maya is done reading, okay? When Maya is done reading, you answer, all right? Whoever is the first correct answer on my screen here, whatever I see here, and there's no reason why I would be biased to pick somebody over the other, okay? Whatever I see here is going to be the winner because last time we did it, some people were like, hey, this person was first. That's because that's on your screen. Some people, you know, the internet connections, right? So whatever is first correct answer on my end wins the spray gun. What you're going to do is you're going to contact Anna at ninja support at learn auto body and paint.com. And you're going to put in the subject line spray gun mini X 16 spray gun winner. Okay. She's going to tell me I'm going to go buy the gun for you. And we're going to collect $25 shipping and handling. If you're outside of the country and it's like super expensive, we're just going to charge you whatever the cost of shipping is. All right. Then we're going to mail it out to you. All right. It's going to go out this week. All right. 
So here we go. Maya is going to read into the mic here. Hopefully you practiced. Okay, read it clear. This word is, uh, where are we? Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you make sure you read it correctly, okay, so people understand. Hmm? Okay. Okay. All right, and make sure you read this because we, we want to make sure people understand the question. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right, guys. Maya's gonna read out. Maya's gonna read out. Drum roll. A bullseye con is a condition created by a hail damage, b paint contamination, c buffing at high speeds, or d failure to property featherage. A repaired area. I'll read it again. I'll read it again. A bullseye condition is a condition created by A, hail damage, B, paint contamination, C, buffing at high speeds, D, failure to properly feather edge a repaired area. Hold on. Oh, I know who got it. Um, um, even The answer is... D, D, guys. The answer is D. D is in dog. Failure to properly feather edge a repaired area. So if you're working on a body spot and this is your dent, right? If you don't feather edge the round, if you don't feather edge your body work around here properly, you're going to see this in your paint, which is called a bullseye scenario. All right, guys. So let's see who the winner is for the Adam X 16 spray Eva. gun. Eva. Who is it? Eva. Evan. Evan Monitz. Evan, are you a VIP? Come, please let me know if you are a VIP, Evan Monitz. Because we can tell if you're a VIP or not. So, Evan, you are the winner of the Adam X 16 spray gun. I am buying you one of these $200 value here. Congratulations to make sure. Let's see if you're a VIP. Evan Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, dude. Hawaiian boy won, man. What's up? Congratulations on that, man. I'm going to be buying you one of these spray guns. All you got to do, congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Give, give Evan a big hand up, man. Evan from Hawaii, my hometown. Evan, where are you from in Hawaii? Where are you from? I'm from uh, I'm from I'm on Oahu, and uh, kind of grew up most of my life in Salt Lake, Moana Loa area. That's that's where that's where this homeboy's from. Big Island, okay, Big Island, nice, 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 nice. What part? Where in the Big Island? You on the uh, Hilo side or? Anyway. Waimea? Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, nice place. Waimea. All right, guys, Evan, so all you have to do, man, all you got to do is email ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Tell Anna, um, Anna or Catherine, whatever girls, we got the girls over there answering support. Tell her that you want you you won the uh, spray gun and um, make sure you give her your email address, your shipping address. And she's going to correspond with you to get you uh, the payment for shipping. As soon as you pay that, we're gonna I'm going to buy it for you. We're going to mail it out to you. All right, brada? All right, my brada. Hawaiian. Oh, God. All right, guys. <clears throat> okay, we're going to leave it open for another five minutes of quick Q&A here. And then I'm going to call it a day. Um, give a quick like if you're just getting on and you didn't give a like yet. Give a quick like. Be super cool of you guys. Good to see y'all later, peoples. <laughs> All right, Kent, have a good one. It was nice talking to you, by the way. I hope you got that video recording. Video quality is extremely poor. It looks pretty good on my end. Maybe it's your connection. You might want to check out the replay. All right, so we got some Q&As here. Can you use a clear base coat? What? I mean, instead of 2K clear because I'm spraying outside. Is there such thing as a clear base coat without color to protect the base coat? Yes, it's called intercoat. You can use the DBC 500 uh, by PPG, but 
it's not a finish. I don't know why you would want to finish with a clear base coat. So I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Yes, you're correct. Evan, you're correct. You got it. Send that, send that email and then send her all your details, your shipping information, and we'll do that. Minigun good for any kind of primer. Well, <clears throat> the minigun comes in a 1.0, 1.2, or 1.4 tip. If you're going to be shooting a primer, I think we also have a 1.8 tip for this in stock at Zula.com. So you might want to check out the 1.8 if you're going to be shooting primer. All right. 1.8 is good for primer. Uh, well, no, man, I'm streaming from my, my desktop camera here. Does every, can everybody see me clearly here? Is everything coming in pretty clear or not? Not, or is it bad as new Newfield said? Anyway, <clears throat> so people are saying clear, people are saying clear. So maybe it's your connection, bro. Okay. So let's see. Um, can be covered. Can red be covered with single stage? Absolutely. Of course you can cover, you can cover red with any color paint. Um, can I spray clear with a 1.5 tip, man? I think, I really think 1.5 is a little on the big side. You can try it and let me know how it goes, but I would stick with a 1.3 or 1.4 for clear coat. You know, I usually don't like to go bigger than 1. 1.4 is actually on the big side for clear coat, but I it's actually perfect for me, for a lot of my, the people who follow me. Uh, 1.5, 1.4 is a really good clear coat tip, tip size. <clears throat> Please do a video on mixing house of color mixing. Michael, we actually have that in VIP already there doing house of color uh, base coats and clear coats. Uh, you may want to check out VIP guys who are not VIPs. Uh, there's a ton of content and we got a ton of more footage coming in this summer. So I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, here, I'll just send the link to VIP for some of you guys who are not VIPs. I'll just pop the link here so you can check that out. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Going to paint the 37 foot motorhome. I've learned a lot from your videos. Just wanted to say, thanks. You got it, Robin. Should I have a full pan, op full fan pattern open for spraying clear coat? Yes, I always like to go all the way full width, right? I go full width. Here's my fan pattern adjustment here on the X27 spray gun. I like to go full width and then maybe back out a quarter turn. That's how I like to do my setting. And that's still gonna give you full width. All right, so this way you got full pa fan pattern uh, when doing base coat and or clear coat. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here, guys. You prefer 1.3 or 1.4 for base coat and clear coat? I prefer the 1.4. Um, I've sprayed with 1.3, pretty much the same results. I just kind of like the 1.4 because you can get more paint on it if you want to. You know what I mean? If you if you really pull the trigger and you, you're gunning on it, you could really lay on the, the clear coat with a 1.4. 1.3 can get you the same results. It's just a matter of uh, of preference. Um, I sent the email. Thanks again, Brada. Super stoked. You got it. You got it, Hawaiian. Uh, what type of body filler? If you're looking for cheap body filler, you can go with a shop shop line body filler. Um, PPG has a cheaper brand. Or if you want to go for a, a good body filler, look into the Rage brand by Evercoat. Evercoat Rage, there's a bunch of different uh, variations. You can spend up to 50, 60 bucks for a gallon of body filler. That's up to you. Did you sell the mini truck? Not yet. Actually, it's been raining and I put it in the, it's been in the garage for a few days, but I tell you guys, I get like three or four calls on it every single day. Um, I lowered the price. I just thought of lowering the price at a thousand bucks. So I'm asking 85 for it now. We'll see what happens. If I can't get 85, I don't know if I want to let it go for that. I don't know. I think, I think I'll get 85 for it. 
Uh, any warnings painting white over silver? No. White's going to cover beautifully over silver. I wouldn't worry about it. Is it better to have low pressure spraying clear gun? What? Is it better to have low pressure spraying clear or gun recommended pressure? I don't understand your question. I don't understand if you're saying, is it better to have a low volume, low pressure spray gun or to spray at low pressures? I don't know. Uh, Bibis DIY. You, you're going to want to spray with at least 28, 29 PSI when spraying clear coat. And when you adjust, you're basically having your air air coming out and you're adjusting the gauge here to see your your PSI settings. Um, single stage, good to paint with a 1.3 atom spray gun. Yeah, I mean, especially with single stage, I like to use a 1.4. Base coat, 1.3, no problem, clear, yeah. But uh, single stage, you because you want to get that paint on thick, even more so, I would like to use a 1.4. I always use 1.4 when spraying single stage paint jobs. So you can try it, but I think you're going to get better coverage with a 1.4. Can you do a video on how to correct drips from clear coat. I didn't see it on the RAV vid. You were going to do it, but I didn't. Hey, Woody Williams, I actually have have some of that on the motorcycle series in VIP and some of the newer projects. Check the newer projects out. I seen a video that says, put your pearl in a second base coat, you say in the clear coat. What point do I use it? Well, there's no sense in putting pearl in base coat because you're going to have to put so much to even get it to show. You know, especially in enamel, your paint is just going to cover the pearl. You're not even going to see it. Pearl is best laid on in a clear coat or a intercoat. So if you don't feel comfortable about laying pearl in clear coat because if you run it, you're going to have a pearl run, then I would use a clear base coat, which is an intercoat. Mix your pearl up, you're going to need literally one third of the amount because you're laying it on top of your paint, right? And you're going to get much more of an effect that way. You're going to save on the pearl and your pearl is going to be immediately visible because you're laying it on top of your paint. It's not going to be mixed in your paint, okay? That's how pearl, in my opinion, should be laid uh, to get the maximum amount of pearl less an effect on your paint jobs. So hopefully that helps. Um, hopefully that helps guys. Uh, what do you think about the TCP global paint gun for starting out? I don't know. I haven't tried it. I would say if you're looking for a starter spray gun and you can't, you know, afford the higher price points, dude, seriously, check out the Atom spray guns, man. The X20 is a very, very good starter spray gun. Let's see if I can get you a link. So here is the uh, official website uh, where Atom spray guns are sold here. And you might want to check out the Atom X20. It's a better price point. If you want to go all out and get the King Kahuna, then check out the X27. Super, super nice spray gun. Uh, this is the high volume, low pressure version. Um, they also have the low volume, low pressure. All right, guys. Hopefully this helps. We're going to be on next week, Saturday or Sunday this time. So keep that in mind. Give a quick like if you haven't yet. Um, congratulations to Evan on winning the spray gun. And um, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for meeting me on here. I got to go. Uh, we've been on for a good amount of time here. I have to head out. But thank you so much for getting on. Um, I will be back on next week, Saturday or Sunday this time. So just think of that. Um, thank you. It was nice to see everybody on here. Um, all right, no more questions. I just feel like I have to answer these three questions here. What's the difference between glaze polish versus the usual three-stage polishes we use when buffing? Well, there's you can there's Anthony, there's all kinds of compounds that you can use. I don't know which one you're using. Some of them are basically three stages where you do the compound, then you do the medium, then you do the fine glaze. I like the two-step systems because it's easier, saves you time. All you got to do is do your, I use Meguiar's uh, compound for my cutting with a wool pad. 
get it down glossy. Then I use I, I use 3M or Meguiar's glaze, which is a super fine glaze with a foam pad, which takes out all the haze marks and swirl marks, and then you're good to go. Then if it's a brand new paint job, I would wait about a week or two before I put my sealer wax on it. If it's an old paint job, you can immediately put wax on it. All right. When you become a VIP, are you one of are you one for life or do you have to sign back up? It depends, Anthony, on what uh, membership you get right now. There is a $19 a month membership or a $129 for lifetime access. Check it out. The page I sent you earlier. I'll give you the link again if you want to check it out. Totally worth it. We have thousands. I heard adding a dab of black in your clear, it makes a nice effect. It depends. Michael, I use that for tinting headlights and taillights. So if you want to tint your headlights or taillights, sand them down with around 800 to 1,000 grit. Okay, mix very, very little black base coat and clear coat. We actually have these videos in VIP, and I show you how to basically give a smoke tinted effect on your tail lights or headlights uh, by adding some black base coat to clear coat. <clears throat> Super cool. Have you ever used Omni paint? I think it's from. Yes, I've used Omni. I've I've been painting with Omni since way back in the day, fifteen years ago. I've never really had any issues with Omni. It's a cheaper paint but it works. I mean, if you're on a budget, guys, it all depends on where you are financially. Some people don't want to spend a thousand dollars on paint. Some people only want to spend 300, you know, or 200. So, uh, so that's it. VIP member, who do I contact to get back on? Ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com or just go to the website, man, and click, 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 contact and open up a ticket and if you have an account with us our girls will get you back into the club all right thank you guys i will see you next week saturday or sunday around this time to do more learn auto body q a give a quick like before you head out congratulations evan talk to you soon guys have a great day peace out cheers guys cheers